It was September 2nd, 1666, 12.30 a.m. Everyone was tucked in bed in the streets of London were dark. Then, out of nowhere, a fire broke out in a bakery on Pudding Lane. This was the start of the devastation known as the Great Fire of London. This fire lasted for days, burning down homes in seconds, reaching degrees you can't imagine. What could cause a fire of this magnitude? According to my research, there are three possible theories. First, historians blame the baker on Pudding Lane for starting the fire. They thought he did not put out the fire in his oven properly and left it running all night. Second, historians found broken and burned pieces of tar barrels down a cellar by the bakery. This is a very flammable liquid which may help the fire spread. The third and final theory is that the tenure drought in London had finally taken a toll on the city. Ultimately, this tragedy burned down two-thirds of the city of London, and it burned for four days straight. It burned down 13,000 homes, 92 churches, St. Paul's Cathedral, and most of the London Bridge. The most devastating thing of all is that 70,000 people were made homeless, and it was reported that six people lost their lives over those four days. Following all this devastation and destruction, one man, Christopher Wren, volunteered to construct the city of London to help his fellow citizens. He knew it was a big task, but he was up for the challenge. He spent his first seven years reconstructing St. Paul's Cathedral along with the 92 other churches. They were built using bricks and cement, topped with a beautiful gold leaf that shone like the sun. Once the churches were complete, Christopher and crew of five men started to rebuild the town homes and buildings using bricks, wood, and cement for a sturdier structure. And after 50 years of hard work and labor, the city was free from ashes, burnt wood, and all reminders of the devastation. It was now filled with blooming flowers, clear skies, and a dream of what to come. In conclusion, even in great suffrage of the Great Fire of London, you can always hope that some will rise in the midst of disaster. The fire filled the city with desperate needs of love and hope. But when the fire was done, it bur done burning, one man stood up from the ashes and volunteered to construct the city of London. Christopher Wren was that man. He did this so his fellow citizens could live in new studio homes, worship in new churches, and have hope for a better future with disaster behind them. And as Amy Lee McCree once stated, Kindness can transform someone's dark moments with a blaze of light.